So this was the one that they took out the hot. They let you take it, huh? Yes. Look at that curve. That is really curved. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my gear and then uh, then we start, okay? By the way, is there any fungus for this one? To me, no, it's just a damaged, lifted nail. Go, go, go. Yeah, like I was saying, I think you enjoy this, right? <laughs> if you watch all the videos, it's because you like, like all it. of them. <laughs> it's bad. So I, I can't believe you're questioning if you. But at the hospital, I, like I actually have to turn away. I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. I no, it was it bloody? It's just the way it's being handled. It was just I felt, and the pain in his face felt. Oh, so no. Screamed, huh? <laughs> I didn't scream, but oh, yeah, you were a man about it, but it was hurt. But it was a man oh. scream, you know, the one under your breath. Oh, jeez. And I'm gonna talk to them. You got so the other nail was just as bad in terms of curvature, but more infected. This one never really got infected, though. It did, but it healed because we've been putting um, some ointment on. So I'm just putting on this tourniquet, so there's very little to no blood. You know this step, don't you? Yeah? I could be your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put this one on. So we can see everything well and the acid works well. How and long does this acid usually take to wear out? The acid you know works when we put it on and then what happens afterwards is we neutralize it using an uh, rubbing alcohol. And then, then that stops the reaction. Okay. So like I said, because we have both toes, we're going to just do them both at the same time. Okay. And then wrap everything up in one go. Enjoy yourself. You saw the last one I just posted, right? Yes. This is a real double whammy. This yes. one is, uh, <laughs> we're doing both toes again. The last one is both toes. The one last night I showed it's you. Both big toes. So did they talk about any other options for that one or the moment you walked into the hospital they just and you went through emergency? Yeah. yeah. And they just said yeah it's coming off? Yes, no options. Um but they tried to push us away to go to a foot specialist. Give me one more in the drawer. But it's the infection mm -hmm. that uh, hemostat like this. They said and you told them you already had an appointment? Yes. But unfortunately uh I'm just gonna wait for it. The infection was so bad. When did that happen? Two weeks ago. I'll open it up. Really, Two Sundays ago. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is do a little check, okay? So you just sit back. Anything sharp down here? No. Anything sharp here? No. You feel anything? I feel like what? But there's no pain. No. Do you feel pressure? Yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of pus in there too. Anything sharp here? No. And how about here? No. Nothing. You do no okay? Yeah. No pain, right? Yeah. Or a little bit? Yeah, it's a little bit. Right down here? Yeah. Sharp, sharp? No. Okay. So what we're gonna do, because you shouldn't be feeling pain. Anything sharp here? No. Tell me if you feel a little bit of tingliness. Yeah. You do, huh? So there's a few little nerves down here that we're hiding. You doing okay? Yeah. So what we're doing, we're just topping up that spot. <clears throat> Discomfort right now, you're okay? I'm good. You are a tough guy, for sure. So there is a little bit of pus in there. So there is still a little bit of infection. Let's see how this one's doing while I let that one sit. Anything sharp here? No. Here? No. And here? No. Here? No. Awesome. So you felt like a little pinprick when I did the other foot? Yeah. And so at the hospital, they numbed it, they wait 30, sec 30 minutes, and the moment he went, you oh, felt I, everything, huh? And then lifting and angry, it went right now with the, the scissors and just pulled. How's it cranked. The, oh, how's this happening? Pain? How about here? And I don't want you to be shy. Yeah. Nothing painful here? I feel a little sting at the bottom, but... How about here? Okay, let's do this other baby one while that one sits in a little bit more. It's deep. 
Yeah. So because of how damaged these nails have become, we are going to be permanently removing this so it never comes back. That's going to be your best option because like I said, unfortunately they removed the other nail. Did you ask them to put an acid or anything like that? Yes, we did. And what they say? The option's not available. So in a couple months, we're going to be coming back and doing that other side. Yes. This side? Yes. In the future. <laughs> With so, the needle? With the needle. Oh, yeah, we got to numb your toe to remove it. Do you feel tingliness on this one? Oh. OK. So the other one nail's already gone. Much deeper than the other. Sit. Hey, just, hey, <laughs> but this one, you seem to be feeling a little bit. Anything sharp down here? No. Here? Here? Oh. Here? Down here? Oh. And down here? Oh. I think you hit the nerve this time. See, you said I was good. You were lying. I, I was not good. But I don't, I, like, again, it's the same thing that happened with actually the double whammy, is where he felt a little bit. You have to top up because you shouldn't, you were in a lot of pain when they removed the last nail, right? Yeah. Yes. It's almost like there was no anesthetic, right? It's not that way. Pain here? No. So here, we can see. And we gotta show the camera the nail that you saved. I'll bring it. I'll so, you didn't feel anything? No. You want to see this one out? Again, very deep wings on that one. Wow. You got it on already? No, just just about in a second. Should I look? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you look in two seconds when I dry this out so it doesn't look so scary. So a lot of there's a lot of bruising and pus, no? A lot of trauma to the nail. You can take a look if you're brave enough. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Sweating a little bit. But he knew when he got pulled out in the hospital, he knew exactly what they're doing, all this being pulled out, what direction it was going. So big difference. Okay, so we're making sure nothing's left behind. No pain down here? No. So, very good. So again, you, you're making me work today, testing my skills. <laughs> I, I told him that you're gonna put him to work. Make me earn it, that's good. <laughs> so that's all done. So now we're just gonna apply the acid and that's literally everything. So this is the difference. This is what's gonna stop this nail from ever growing back. And a lot of people sometimes are always questioning how come we're stopping the nail from coming back. And like I said, you see the nail bed so rounded, yes. it's not flat anymore. Yes. The nail's gonna follow that path I as see. a new nail grows. I see. You see how the nail bed's rounded on yes. your other toe? Yes. The same thing is gonna happen. No pain? No. Honestly? Yeah, you're being honest. I want you to be honest with me. Because I don't want oh, you to feel it right here, sitting on that side. Right here? Yeah. So you see where the rubber band is? Yeah, exactly. It's on a part that's not completely numb, so you're yeah. feeling a lot of pinching or pressure, but nothing that's making you say ow? No. Huge, deep corners. You're like a toe hero. <laughs> You should wear a Superman cape. No, I'm just, I'm just the toe bro. <laughs> no, you need to wear a cape. <laughs> no, it's a big, big issue, these toenails. This is serious. A lot of people have these, well, they're almost what we call pincer nails. 
because they're almost just completely rounded. That other one you showed me is like completely closed up. Yes. Actually, the tip broke off. If it didn't, it was yeah. eating each other. So it'll be good for us. So we'll take a little, quick little video afterwards of that other tool so we yeah. can see how it looks in a couple months when we come back sure. and take care of that one. No pain? No. And how are the needles? How is the needle at the hospital? This is a lot better. Well, What's the big difference? Yeah. What was the uh, difference that you felt? I don't even know. Like, even when you walked us, walked me through it, it was more comforting too, right? That's good. But then at the hospital, he was ruthless, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he was. No, like John did, I, the needle was so thick, and he put it in and he hit the bone, and he was like twirling it around, and I'm like, I don't know what direction you're going, but uh, it just uh, looked painful. Well, I, mean, I don't know what the need for that was. So it's unbelievable. So you, nails are so fragile. Wearing tight shoes, steel toe boots, poor circulation, anything that's traumatizing the nail cells will cause them to change. And then once they become scarred or damaged, that's that's forever. Do you see any of the other small toes having issues later? Or? No, they're all flat. Okay. It was just the second one on this foot. Okay. And once he's walking without all that pressure, it'll definitely ease the tension off the other toes as well, right? For sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, you did really well. Let's uh, neutralize everything with the acid. So we'll give him good both squirts. Yep. Other one too. Yep. Very good. So that. So how you guys are gonna dress this is with an antibiotic cream and a band-aid for you guys, just because we don't want the gauze to stick to the top. Okay. And do I need to go deep into the edges or just above? Just keep it covered. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be very different than just having a nail removed like your other toe. Because yes. we've used an acid, it's a lot more trauma and damage to the tissue. So expect okay. a lot more bleeding. Clean up twice a day, morning and night? Yes. Okay. So when I get up, get up work, nine hours later, I just go home. I don't have to ch change it in between. No, no, you should be fine. Sure. Should be fine. So that was everything. You made that look easy. It is easy. <laughs> it's not brain surgery. Not brain surgery. It's pretty simple. Just removing a little toenail. It's easy because you're a pro, believe me. No, I'm just the bro, remember. Just the bro. <laughs> okay, so I expect this to bleed a lot. Why just because that? the ingrowns were pretty bad okay. and a lot of trauma to the nail bed itself. So if this bleeds through later today, you just take everything off and you redo the dressing. Okay. What told on TV? <laughs> <laughs> it's only on YouTube, unfortunately. It's not. It's not TV yet. But no, honestly, YouTube is like TV. The, uh, that is. YouTube is the new TV yeah. now. That's all we watch. So I put them together. What I would say is later tonight, before you go to bed, you got the Ninja Turtle toy. I told you. <laughs> you take everything off and redo the dressing. That way the gauze doesn't get stuck. Tonight? Yeah. Okay. It's normal for it to bleed for a day or so. Okay. Completely normal. Okay. You just keep changing it. Okay, so um, saline wash? No. You can take a normal shower okay. with this on tomorrow morning, okay. then dry it, and then put on a new dressing. What about for tonight when I'm changing it? No. Just pat it down and put a new dressing on. Let it bleed out. What do I pat fine. it down with? Any... I'm going to give you gauze. Okay. okay. I'll give you Fantastic. some gauze. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, great. Sick. Do you watch the videos or just her? I feel like she's her. Both? Yeah, well, she watches most of the time. I watch all of them. And how I is give it? them all the good scenes. And how is it? <laughs> Let's see that nail. <laughs> so, this was the one that they took out the hot. They let you take it, huh? Yes. Look at that curve. That is really curved. So, that tip over here? Yeah. It was, it just recently broke off, but it yep. was actually touching the middle. It oh. angled right in. It was in. all the way around, huh? Yes, it was crazy. That's huge. I had to pick out the flesh from under. There was so much flesh stuck under. You're gonna put the other one in the bag too? Yeah. <laughs> second, if you have a different dice, I can go over clean. Yeah, we can get it done. Thank you. Let's make a nice earring. <laughs> Thank you so you much. You got two big ones and a little baby one. <laughs> There's this one. So how long has this has it been since this one was removed? Two weeks. Okay, so like I said, 
the reason I'll just tell the camera, yes. we, we could have numbed it and try to put the acid today, but if we have a little bit of new nail growing or if there's a protective layer over the nail cells, the acid won't penetrate it. There's nothing for me to pull out. So we're not exposing those nail cells well and the acid might not work. So it's better for us to wait until we see more nail. So I have something to actually pull out and know and that we're- How much nail you thinking? Uh... In probably three months, okay. four months. Okay. And okay. we go from there. You can see the, it's hard to see on the camera, but the nail bed itself is raised. Yeah. It's got a bump in the middle. So the nail is going to follow that exact same path. And then it will be good for us to, to see in the, in the future how it's looking. But Great. unfortunately, we just got to do the numbing again. But it was manageable, yeah. right? So you know it's, it's manageable. You'll make it through, okay?